welcome to the Senior Awards and Honor Society courting ceremony. I am Brian O'Connell, Assistant Principal of Operations here at Timberline Regional High School. I ask that everyone please rise as the Select Ensemble performs the National Anthem. school administrations, our esteemed faculty and staff, welcome to tonight's ceremony. The end of the school year has been a sweet time for educators and parents. We've grown close to these students and are proud of their accomplishments. It's an emotional time, a time for celebration and reflection. So we have ceremonies like this to say thank you, congratulations, and good luck in everything you do. Seniors, forgive us in advance for our watery eyes. We feel a little tug at our hearts as we see you up on stage for the last time, or Saturday morning as we see you lining up in caps and gowns with your cords around your neck, tassels to the left. We've cherished the opportunity to watch you grow, to get to know your personalities, your talents, perhaps feed your dreams a bit and help you to reach your goals. The ceremony is a ritual, a transition, the passing of the torch, its independence and self-reliance, time for marching forth. Armed with lessons learned, philosophies considered, mysteries explored. Aware that compassion and service are their own reward. We pray that you graduate with purpose, with morals, with values in place, and that you meet life's challenges with dignity and grace. Thank you. Before we get to the awards, the first line of order in our program is the Major Jeremy J. Grasick Memorial Scholarship. Mr. and Mrs. Jim and Darlene Grasick will present the scholarship. The Major Jeremy J. Grasick Memorial Scholarship is given his honor to the Val Victorian of Timberlane Regional High School. Jeremy graduated from Timberlane in 1995. He lettered in varsity basketball and soccer, served in multiple school organizations, received the 1995 Outstanding Senior Award, and was Val Victorian of his class. Following graduation from Timberlane, Jeremy went on to graduate with honors from the U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland. 
He was commissioned into the United States Marine Corps in May 1999. His career in the Corps had been participating in almost all of our nation's conflicts in the last decade. He received many awards and commendations during his service and posthumously awarded two bronze stars with the V for Valor. He passed from our world on July 12, 2011. The Major Jeremy J. Grayson Memorial Scholarship is awarded to the valedictorian of the class of 2017, Joy Stevenson. President's Education Award. Next, we will be presenting the President's Education Awards. This award recognizes academic success in the classroom. In order for a student to be eligible, they must meet the set GPA requirement. The President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence is presented on behalf of President Donald Trump. In the words of President Trump, I am pleased to extend greetings to your school as you gather to congratulate the winners of the President's Education Award Education is a lifelong pursuit and offers countless rewards for those who strive for knowledge and work hard to achieve success. By setting high standards for yourself, by making the most of your educational opportunities, and by diligently working to reach your goals, you are well on your way towards realizing those rewards. I commend you for your academic and civic, civic achievements and hope you will continue to pursue your educational goals. Your community and your country are counting on you. Melania joins me in wishing you continued success as we share the pride of your parents, teachers, and friends. In addition to a certificate from President Trump, the book Why Read is presented to you on behalf of Timberland Regional High School. Author Mark Edmondson writes from his experiences as a humanity professor and his approach to teaching literacy to quote Edmondson, real reading is reincarnation. There's no other way to put it is being born again into a higher form of consciousness that we ourselves possesses. When we walk the streets of Manhattan with Walt Whitman or contemplate our hopes for eternity with Emily Dickinson, we are reborn to more ample and generous minds. We must acknowledge that the beauty of language is all around us. Each day on this earth, we should be embraced as a source of enormous wonder. But how rarely do most of us look up and smile in gratitude and appreciation? Why Read inspires and reminds us that not all books are worth being reincarnated into, but those that are, when Keith's sweet phrase, a joy forever. Congratulations, seniors. Yeah. First, we're gonna recognize our three top-ranked seniors. Class essayist, Emily Hammond. Class Salutatorian, Kaylee Smith. And Class Valedictorian, Joy Steenson. Another round of applause for our top three seniors. So seniors, a reminder again, we're gonna do this reminder a lot tonight. When your name appears on the screen, I want you to stand up, walk to the back, and around stage to your right, and line up by Ms. Carlson, and then we'll call you up here across the stage. Audience, if you can please hold your applause to the end. Um, we would greatly appreciate it, and we can applause when all students have been recognized.
I know we have a couple of students running late today, our volleyball boys. They won their semifinals match. <laughs> three rounds down there. So when they arrive, we might jump them in line over here so we might be a little out of order as we go. <laughs> All right, so first, Ryan Allen. Lily Ashford. Remember, we're going to hold that applause. <laughs> Fred Buechler. Troy Blackadar. Carissa Bork. Sierra Brown. Julia Brutal. Jake Chaput. Ashley Ciotto. Cameron Collins, I'm making Miss Women and Miss Woodworth work here. Noah Dark Angela, Jennifer DePietro, Morgan DeRusso, Ryan Doherty. Noah Doloff, Alexander Donella, Colleen Donnelly, Hannah Donnelly, Rose Dudow, Casey Eldred, Emily Farone. Logan Ferguson, William Gannon, Paris Geisler, Danielle Hammond, Kevin Healy, Nolan Hennessy. Lauren Hershenroder, Taylor Hogan, Maya Hollins, Hannah Jamison, Carolyn Johnson, Daniel Jordan, Yannicka Kors, Brendan Kelly, James King, Rachel Comenda, Julia, Julia Langto, Jacob Levitt, Kayla Livingston, Natalie Livingston, Holly Lombardi, Benjamin Longchamp, Crystal Lord, Kelly Lowe's, Juliana Mancinelli. Brooklyn Marcotte, Rachel McAbee, Brianna McCall, 
Shane Monahan. Veronica Moya. Cameron Murphy. Nicholas Nafakos. Allison O'Connor. Amy O'Mara. Shannon O'Neill. Sarah Pelletier. Irvin Falmelli. Aaliyah Raymond. Joshua Richardson. Emma Richelsoff. Victoria Rowland. Shane Roy. Matthew Salois. Eric Sarbieski. Parker Shoppy. Kayla Seavey. Nicole Sherwood. Andrew Simmering. Nicholas Silvestro. Nicholas Skinner. Anna Smith. Amanda Snow. Jacob Swanee. Dylan Swillen. Kylie Taylor. Isabella Varney. And Sun Sun Zen. Congratulations to all our seniors. Next, we will be moving on to the presentation of department awards. Students, again, please enter the stage to your right, proceed across the stage to receive your award, and exit to the left. We'll begin with the art department. Presenting from the art department is Ms. Dessa Landry and Mrs. Christina Currier. The Outstanding Artist Award goes to Julia Mohawk. The Outstanding Photographer Award goes to Sun Sun Zen. School of Design Award. The Rhode Island School of Design Award is given every year to a student who shows outstanding achievements in the visual arts. This year, the Rhode Island School of Design Award goes to Katherine Thomas.
Next we have the business department. Presenting from the business department is Ms. Susan Takeshian. <laughs> the most outstanding in business award goes to Juliana Mancinelli. Next we have the Industrial Technology Department. Presenting from the Industrial Technology Department is Mrs. Michelle Grimm. The Growth, Attitude, and Effort in Engineering Award goes to Jared Mayo. Next we have the English department. Presenting from the English department is Mr. Eric Constantino. The most outstanding in English award goes to James King. Yes. Social Studies Department. Presenting for the Social Studies Department is Mr. Scott Strange. <laughs> we have two for this one. The Outstanding in History Awards go to Emily Hammond and Benjamin Longchamp. The Outstanding in Social Studies Awards go to Hannah Donnelly and James King. Student Services Department, presenting our school counselors, Mrs. Robin Mahoney and Mr. Dan Woodworth. <laughs> the Distinguished Service Award is given to a senior who has demonstrated sincere interest and commitment to serving the Timberland community. This year's recipient is Patrick Moley. Personal Achievement Award is given to a senior who exemplifies strong character and promise for the future. This year's recipient is Julio Lera.
Next we have the mathematics department. Presenting for the mathematics department is Mrs. Rebecca Carlson. The Excellence in Mathematics Award goes to Noah D'Arcangelo. The Mathematics Faculty Choice Award goes to Shane Roy. Next we have the science department. Presenting for the science department is Mr. Mark Pedersen. The science achievement award goes to Noah D'Arcangelo. The Science Faculty Choice Award goes to Veronica Moya. Physical Education and Health Department. We're going to bring Mr. Pedersen back out here. The most outstanding in physical education health awards go to Jessica Costa and Benjamin Longchamp. Music department. Presenting from the music department are Mr. Anthony the Bartolomeo, Mr. William Mativier, Mr. John Zivos, and Mrs. Louise Pajak. And, and Mr. Michael Green. <laughs> the recipients of the band awards are Cameron Collins and Alexander Donellan. The recipients of the Chorus Awards are Kayla Seavey and Nicole Sherwood.
recipients of the Guitar Ensemble Awards are Alexander Gray and Jake Terry. The recipients of the orchestra awards are Joy Steenson and Nicholas Nafakos. The World Language Department. Presenting from the French Department is Miss Beth Runnels. The Outstanding in French Award goes to Kaylee Smith. Presenting for the German department is Miss Mary Widman. The outstanding in German award goes to Irvin Fau Melli. Presenting for the Latin department is Mr. Michael D'Angelo. The Outstanding in Latin Award goes to Jennifer DiPietro. The Prospero Award is given to a student for excellence in connecting ancient culture with modern life in creative ways. Goes to Nicole Sherwood. Presenting from the Spanish department is Miss Mary Whitman. The Outstanding in Spanish Award goes to Hannah Donlin. Congratulations to all our department award winners.
At this time, I'm going to ask one of our outstanding scholars, James King, to come up to the podium to say a few words. Hello, everyone. Uh, I just want to thank Mr. Woodworth for giving me the opportunity to speak tonight. I didn't think I'd be able to make this speech, but um, I'm very glad that I've had this opportunity. And if you want, you can sort of think of it as like the opening act for Saturday, so. All right. When I was going through my old school stuff a couple weeks ago, I stumbled upon some papers from my English class about the hero's journey. And this really struck a chord with me when I sat down to write this speech, because I asked myself this question. What makes a hero? By the dictionary definition, a hero is someone who is admired or idealized for outstanding qualities. But that's a pretty roundabout definition for something that's pretty easily defined. A hero is someone who does something good for others and themselves. Believe it or not, when I thought about this, I thought about all of you. It makes sense when you think about it, because everyone here is, in one way or another, a hero. Some of you may be thinking, who, me? And others of you may be thinking, of course I am. <laughs> but no matter what you think, I can assure you it's true. The fact that you are here today shows your outstanding qualities and commitment to the betterment of yourself and others. Our journey has been a difficult one. It's been a hero's journey. We've had to balance the turmoil of homework, part-time jobs and social lives, family struggles, breakups and loss, but we did it. Throughout these four years, we've shown strength, courage, and compassion. My hope is that you carry that forward with you. No matter what you end up doing with yourselves, I urge you to find a cause that excites you and energizes you, and stand up for it. Stand up for what is good and just, even if the odds are against you. You're more than capable. You all have within you the smarts, strength, and kindness to make this world a better place. There are some other heroes in the audience with us tonight. I want to take a moment to thank the Timberlane faculty, without whom we would not be this close to our graduation. I want to thank the teachers, administrators, and guidance counselors who made sure that our grades were polished and sharp, who pointed us in the right direction for our post-high school plans, and who shouldered our burdens even when they weren't contractually obligated to do so. It takes a special kind of person to devote themselves to the success of young people, but thank goodness that they exist and that they are here in such great abundance at this school. These faculty members are people who've done their very best to make sure that when we walk off that stage on Saturday, diploma in hand, that we are ready for whatever life throws at us. The faculty of this school have had their own hero's journey, a journey to the betterment of students for over 50 years. I know that I couldn't have made it through these four years without their strength and guidance. Let's give them a round of, hat, round of applause. <laughs> As for us, the class of 2017, one journey of ours is almost over, but another is soon to begin. Graduation will be the threshold between our high school lives and what lies beyond. Our school, our teachers, and our friends have given us the tools we need to travel down our own paths. Sure, we may take a wrong turn from time to time, and maybe we'll end up taking different paths than our best friends. All I can ask of you is that you be the very best that you can be, whether or not you choose to go to college, serve in the military, enter the workforce, or embark on some other journey. Be the best writers, the best electricians, the best scientists, and the best soldiers. But don't forget to be kind and to give more than you take. Don't forget to be heroes to your friends, your family, to your neighbors and coworkers. Be a hero to the stranger that you've only just met. And with each of us giving a little back and making a difference, then I can look to the future with hope. It's hard to believe that we're just one step away from the day when our journey starts anew. Each of us will carry a little bit of bittersweet with us as we go, but the hero's journey is full of incredible adventures, and it's a cycle, so we will be brought back home. I can't help but be reminded of the lyrics to an old song that goes, Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. Our new beginning is just on the horizon, so take it. We've earned it. Thank you.
Thank you so much, James. That was incredible. We're going to now move on to some school level awards and some recognitions. We're going to start with AP Scholars recognition. Each spring, AP exams are given to students enrolled in AP courses. Many of the students here tonight were enrolled in numerous rigorous AP courses this year and were receiving their results of their exams during the summer. Completing an AP course and exam is an accomplishment in itself, and I would like to have students who have enrolled and completed AP courses this past year to stand up so we may recognize you. For those who don't know, a score of three or above on an AP exam is considered a qualifying exam score that may allow that student to receive college credit for that particular course. A score of three or above is an impressive feat on any AP exam. An AP scholar is a student who received qualifying scores of three or above on three or more AP exams during a testing year. During the spring of 2016 testing period, we had 17 students who achieved AP scholar status. Now, many of those students were seniors that moved on, but we have four of those 17 students who were members of the class of 2017 who are here tonight. I'm going to ask them to come on stage to be recognized. So our AP scholars from the spring 2016 are Jake Chaput, Danielle Hammond, Linville McGuire, and Kaylee Smith. Danville Boy Scouts Award. Next we will be presenting the Danville Boy Scout Scout Master Award. This award is presented to graduating seniors who have been long-term active members of Danville Boy Scout Troop 13, who have shown a strong character, strong citizenship, and service to their community and others. Scout Master Barry Hampton will be presenting. The Danville Boy Scout Scoutmaster Awards go to Caleb Cretion and Paul Mullen. U.S. Army Awards. Since the inception of its National Scholar Athlete Award program in 1981, the U.S. Army Reserve has awarded its beautiful Olympic-style medallion to more than 900,000 students across the country. Recipients have included class valedictorians, National Honor Society members, even an Olympic gold medalist. The U.S. Army Reserve Scholar Athlete Program is our way of recognizing and rewarding selected high school students who excel in the classroom and on the athletic field. The United States Army Reserve National Scholar Athletic Awards will be presented by Staff Sergeant Stephen Sosa. Our female scholar athlete is Emily Hammond.
Our male scholar athlete is Shane Monahan. He's in roots. They're coming back from Nashville. U.S. Marine Corps Awards. Every year, the Marine Corps take pride in recognizing outstanding performances in academics, athletics, and music. All three fields exemplify the qualities that are inherent to the Marine Corps, strong, tough, and elite. In this day and age, mental strength has joined physical fitness as the distinguishing hallmarks of a Marine. The United States Marine Excellence Awards are presented by Sergeant Eric Brown. The Scholastic Excellent Awards go to Joy Steenson and James King. Distinguished Athlete Awards go to Rachel McAbee and Daniel Jordan. <laughs> Daniel's also coming back. Let's catch our athletes there playing. It kind of works out. <laughs> well. Semper Fidelis Award for Musical Excellence. The award winners are Hannah Donnelly and Benjamin Longchamp. U.S. Coast Guard appointment. Presentation of the appointment to the United States Coast Guard Academy. Stephen C. McCann, a division commander with the United States Coast Guard Auxiliary and representing the United States Coast Guard Academy in New London, Connecticut, will be presenting a certificate of appointment. The appointment process is rigorous and competitive, with typically over 4,000 applicants vying for, over, for only 300 appointments to America's smallest of the nation's federal service academies. The scholarship is valued at $400,000 and includes a guaranteed exciting five-year job upon graduation from the academy. I'd like to welcome Stephen C. McCann to the stage to present the appointment. Thank you, Mr. O'Connell. On behalf of Rear Admiral Rendon, Superintendent of the United States Coast Guard Academy, I will now present an appointment to the class of 2021. Ranked among the nation's most prestigious and selective institutions of higher learning, the Coast Guard Academy in New London, Connecticut is an academic and military community educating future leaders for America. Founded in 1876, it is the smallest of the nation's Federalist Service Academies. Each year, approximately 10,000 students inquire about admissions, and many go on to complete the application. Of those, only 300 will be appointed and sworn in this summer to the class of 2021. Since there are no congressional nominations, Coast Guard Academy appointments are based on merit. Therefore, the most qualified applicants are selected through a holistic review process. A scholarship valued at $400,000, the Coast Guard Academy appointment offers a total integrated life experience. Our campus provides a secure, supportive, and highly structured environment for a unique higher education experience focused on academics, 
athletics, leadership, and professional military development. As a representative on behalf of the Coast Guard Academy Admissions Office, it is my privilege to recognize Jacob Peter Swanee, who has received an appointment to attend the United States Coast Guard Academy. Another congratulations to Jacob, that's us then. I would now like to have another of our outstanding scholars, Ben Longchamp, come up to the stage to speak. Hello everyone. Um, I'm just going to preface this with, I wrote this speech for graduation and the wording has not changed. I didn't get a chance to change it this afternoon since the time I found out. So if the wording seems a little strange for this setting, I apologize in advance. The famous astronomer Carl Sagan once said, our species needs and deserves a citizenry with minds wide awake and a basic understanding of how the world works. This is the job of the public school system to awaken the minds of young citizens and provide them with a basic understanding of how the world works. This allows them to have enough understanding to question everything, to question what our leaders say, to question how things work, and to have enough of a knowledge base that allows them to make a basic argument on most issues without extensive background research. This opens the door to being active citizens. It allows for us to make up our minds on issues and provides a basis for the knowledgeable and respectful civil discourse that is the backbone of American society. As I stand on this stage today, I know that Timberland Regional High School did that job. I know that at the end of my four years here, I am prepared to go out into the world and I have enough of understanding of how the world works to take in the facts presented to me and decide if certain ideas will be beneficial to me and the people around me. I know this because I've done it. Just this past fall, there were two certain changes proposed by the school that I didn't believe, based on the information I was given, would be beneficial to those it would affect, all of my friends that I'll be leaving behind next year, and will be here to see these changes come to fruition. So we all gathered together, we created signs, we wrote letters, and went to meetings. We made sure that the people who were making those decisions heard our voices and heard our concerns. I know that every Timberland student has been provided with the tools to do the same thing. We have all been provided with the ability to make our own decisions and stand up for what we think is a wrong decision, what we, to what we think is a wrong decision. I hope that each and every one of us carries this with us throughout our lives. If you see something you think is wrong, do not be afraid to speak up. Do not be afraid to call attention to it. Do not be afraid to question why something is done the way it is. That is a basic American value. Our, our desire to question authority is what led the colonists to realize they didn't have to be ruled by a king 3,000 miles away. It led to the revolution and created the country we know today. To quote Lincoln, people will little note nor long remember what we say here. I understand that. But if there's one thing I hope you all remember from my speech today, it's to never just accept things. If you are told one option is better than another, ask why. If you are told one person is better than another, Ask why. Please, please, please ask why. Because when there exists a society that never questions, there exists a dangerous state of complacency. And that is where the real problems start. Thank you.
Thank you, Ben, for another great speech. We will now be moving along to the final part of the awards part of the ceremony. After that, we will have a short intermission, and then we will come back for the courting ceremony portion of the night. The Evan Doobie Compassion Award. The Evan Doobie Compassion Award is given in memory of Evan Doobie, 2011 graduate of Timberland Regional High School. Evan's kindness, empathy, and conscious efforts to brighten the lives of others made Timberland a better place to be each day he was here. Tonight's recipients of the Evan Doobie Compassion Award have exhibited these same characteristics in their time at Timberland. We are proud to present the Evan Doobie Compassion Awards to Nicole Sherwood and Isabella Varney. Major Jeremy J. Grasick Character Award. The Major Jeremy J. Grasick Character Award is given in memory of Jeremy Grasick, the valedictorian of the Timberland class of 1995 and a major in the United States Marine Corps at the time of his death in 2011. In his four years here, Jeremy excelled in academics, athletics, and many extracurricular activities he took part in. Known for his integrity, leadership, and ability to bring out the best in others, Jeremy set the standard for owl pride. This year, we are happy to present the Jeremy Great J. Grace at Character Award to another outstanding person of character, Jacob Swanner. Diffio Personal Improvement Award. The Diffio Personal Improvement Award is given in memory of David Diffio, a former student at Timberland Regional High School. Its purpose is to recognize an individual who has demonstrated a dramatic positive change in attitude and personal development during his or her years at Timberland. This year's recipient of the Diffio Personal Improvement Award is Rebecca Fleeter. Catherine Gates Memorial Award. The Catherine Gates Memorial Award is presented in the memory of Catherine N. Gates from the class of 1978. The recipient of this award has demonstrated an artistic ability necessary to succeed in the highly competitive field of the arts. The Catherine Gates Memorial Award goes to the talented Natalie Livingston and Nolan Hennessy. Sharon Kellett Memorial Award. The Sharon Kellett Memorial Award is given to recognize a person in the graduating class who has shown exceptional interest in working with young children and who plans to pursue this as an area of study or work. The Sharon Kellett Memorial Award goes to the well-deserving Anna Donnelly.
the Cindy C. Moradian Memorial Award. The Cindy C. Moradian Memorial Award is given to a graduating senior who is very positively involved in school activities. This student shows care and concern for his or her fellow classmates. We are happy to present the Cindy C. Moradian Memorial Award to Yanni Kakoris. <laughs> Yanni is another volleyball player. When they do arrive, I know they're coming back from the game, we will call them up here and recognize them properly when they get here. The Frank Kelcor Service Award. The Frank Kelcor Service Award is given to a senior in recognition for his or her commitment and contribution to the wider Timberland community by offering, offering his or her time and talent to service and or charitable organizations throughout the district. This year we have two well-deserving recipients, Kaylee Smith and Patrick Moley. The Wilbur R. Moody Citizenship Award. Given in memory of Wilbur R. Moody, a community member who donated many hours of service to the high school, this award is presented annually to the students who demonstrates good citizenship in the classroom. This year's citizenship awards go to Juliana Mancinelli and Jake Chaput. Demetrius Gabriel Leadership Award. The Demetrius Gabriel Leadership Award is given in honor of Brown University and Timberlane High School graduate Demetrius Gabriel. Demi was an outstanding young man that was extremely well regarded by our faculty, his friends, and his teammates while a student athlete here at Timberlane. This leadership award is presented to a graduating senior whose outstanding leadership, character, and commitment to our school sets him or her apart from their peers. It is my honor to present the Demetrius Gabriel Leadership Award to Andrew Simmering. Timberlane Regional High School Faculty Choice Award. The Faculty Choice Award is given to a graduating senior whom the faculty wishes to recognize for exhibiting positive characteristics and outstanding behavior in the school and community. The recipient should exhibit maturity, a high level of social concern, and a strong com commitment to academic responsibilities. In the opinion of the faculty, this student is well equipped to take on adult responsibilities and to have a positive impact on his or her post-secondary education. 2016-2017 Faculty Choice Award recipient is Juliana Mancinelli. Patricia Stone Owls Awards. The Patricia Stone Owls Awards are given to four seniors who personify the characteristics of our Owls motto. Oh, offer your best and be involved contributing citizens at school and in the wider community. W, work cooperatively and resolve conflicts peacefully. L, live responsibly and lend a helping hand to those in need. S, speak and act respectfully toward all. The Owls Awards this year go to Lily Ashford, Colleen Donnelly, Noah D'Arcangelo, and Daniel Jordan.
the John Larry Heart and Soul Award. Mr. John Larry began his, his Timberland career in 1986 teaching U.S. history, and after 27 years in 2013, Mr. Larry retired from Timberland as an associate principal. During his 15 years as a teacher here, Mr. Larry taught a variety of courses and served as an advisor to the classes of 1991 and 1994, the Students of Service, and the Student Council. Through his actions, it was always evident how deeply Mr. Leary cared about the staff and students of Timberlane. He truly rep represents what it means to be an owl and was the heart and soul of Timberlane for many years. The John Leary Heart and Soul Award is presented to a graduating senior who mirrors Mr. Leary's full-hearted nature. This year, the award is given to Troy Blackadar. Principals Awards. The students who receive the Principals Awards are chosen by the building principal for their consistently exceptional involvement in co-curricular activities and their dedication to academic excellence. On behalf of Principal Donald Woodworth, I am proud to announce this year's Principals Award recipients, Joy Steenson and Nicholas Nafakos. This concludes the department and senior award presentation portion of our ceremony. Congratulations again to all of our awardees. We will take a brief intermission before we continue with the remainder of our ceremony, the courting portion. Please return within five minutes. Thank you. We're being, gonna begin with the senior executive committee. The senior class advisors are Mr. Keith Galvin and Mr. Matthew Hunter. On behalf of Mr. Galvin and Mr. Hunter, Mr. Woodworth will now present medals to the members of the Senior Executive Committee. First to be awarded is President Isabella Varney. You can clap separately for the presidents. They've worked hard. They've, they've earned that applause. That's why she's our president right there. She's got it. <laughs> Second, we'd like to recognize our student school board representative. So Nico Nicholas Nafakos, come up to the stage. I will now be reading the names of the remaining members of the Senior Executive Committee. Now you can hold your applause until we have all the members up on stage. First we have Mackenzie Baldwin. Hold that applause, hold that applause. Virginia Burrell, Jake Chaput, Noah Doloff, Hannah Donnelly, Thomas Doyle, William Gannon, Kevin Healy, 
Jace Jones, Brooklyn Marcott, Haley Smith. That's all. Round of applause. Excellent job. Well done. Good job. <laughs> student Council. The Student Council Advisor is Ms. Jennifer Libby. Ms. Libby will now court the members of the Student Council. First to be courted is President Patrick Moley. I will now be reading the names of the members to be courted. Please hold your applause until all members are on the stage. Ryan Allen, Lily Ashford, William Bullier, Kara Brothers, Ashley Ciotto, Mary Casio, Noah Dark Angelo, Morgan DeRusso. Colleen Donnelly, Paris Geisler, Lauren Hershenroder, Yanni Kakoris, Julia Langto, Kelly Lowe's, Juliana Mancinelli. Rachel McAbee, Brianna McAuliffe, Shane Monahan, Julia Mohall, Cameron Murphy, Aliyah Raymond, Joshua Richardson, Celeste Sefka, Nicholas Skinner, Joy Steenson and Caitlin Tarr. <laughs> Look at this problem solving out of our student council. This is excellent. Next is the National Honor Society. The National Honor Society advisors are Mrs. Lisa Cerny and Miss Bethany Weiss.
First to be courted is President Yanni Kokoris. Can I hear you? Okay. I'll now be reading the names of the members to be courted. Please hold your applause until all members on stage. Ryan Allen, Lily Ashford, Craig Buechler, Troy Blackadar, Carissa Bork, Jake Chaput, Ashley Sioto. Cameron Collins, Noah Darkangelo, Morgan DeRusso, Ryan Doherty, Noah Doloff, Alexander Donnellan, Colleen Donnelly. Hannah Donnelly, Rose Dudow, Emily Farone, William Gannon, Paris Geisler, Emily Hammond, Kevin Healy, Nolan Hennessy, Lauren Hershenroder, Taylor Hogan, Hannah Jamison, Carolyn Johnson, Daniel Jordan, James King, Rachel Comenda, Julia Langto. Michaela Livingston, Natalie Livingston, Woo! Kelly Lowe's, Juliana Mancinelli, Brooklyn Marcotte, Rachel McAvee, Brianna McAuliffe, Shane Monahan. Veronica Moyet, Cameron Murphy, Nicholas Nafakos, Allison O'Connor, Amy O'Mara, Shannon O'Neill, Sarah Pelletier, Aliyah Raymond, Joshua Richardson, Emma Richelsoff, Shane Roy, Matthew Solois, Eric Sabieski, Parker Shafi, Nicole Sherwood, Andrew Simmering, Nicholas Skinner, Anna Smith, Kaylee Smith, Amanda Snow, Joy Steenson, Jacob Swanee, Kylie Taylor, Catherine Thomas, Isabella Varney, and Sun Sun Zen.
I lost sight over here. I think we got everyone up on stage for that one, right? All right, that was our biggest group, so we should be, we should be smooth sailing from here on out. Next up, we got the National Art Honor Society. The National Art Honor Society advisor is Mrs. Dessa Landry. Ms. Landry will now chord the members of the National Art Honor Society. First to be courted is President Julia Mohall. I will now be reading the names of the members to be courted. Mackenzie Baldwin. Troy Blackadar. Lexi Heidenreich. Catherine Thomas. And Sun Sun Sen. Next, we have the National Business Honor Society. The National Business Honor Society advisor is Dr. Wendy Bebo. Dr. Bebo will now court the members of the National Business Honor Society. First to be courted is President Juliana Mancinelli. I'll now be reading the names of the members to be courted. Ryan Allen, Colleen Donnelly, Thomas Doyle, William Gannett, Jace Jones, Rachel Comenda, Nicholas Nafakos, Andrew Simmering, Jessica Ward, and Sun Sun Zen.
Next, we have the Drama Honor Society. The Drama Honor Society advisors, Mr. Eric Constantino. Mr. Constantino will now court the members of the Drama Honor Society. First to be courted is leader Sebastian Constantino. I'll be reading the names of the members to be courted. Julia Brutal. Virginia Burrell. Mackenzie Gallant. Julia Langto. Natalie Livingston. Amy O'Mara. Sarah Pelletier, Nicole Sherwood, Hannah Tingley, Alexander Tarosian, Isabella Varney, and Alexander Ward. Next, we have the English Honor Society. The English Honor Society advisor is Mrs. Megan Sizz. In place of Ms. Sizz, the new English Honor Society advisor, Mrs. Joanne Blanchett, will now be courting members of the English Honor Society. First to be courted is President Sarah Pelletier. I will now be reading the names of the members to be courted. Carissa Bork, Jake Chaput, Liam Desmond, Hannah Donnelly, William Gannon, Emily Hammond, Maya Hollins, James King, Rachel Comenda, Julia Langto, Michaela Livingston, Kelly Lowe's, Gwyneth Manro, Patrick Moley, Allison O'Connor, Aliyah Raymond, Nicole Sherwood, 
Hannah Smith. <laughs> Kaylee Smith. Caitlin Tarr. Sun Sun Zen. Next, we have the French Honor Society. The French Honor Society advisor is Miss Beth Ronalds. Miss Ronalds will now court the members of the French Honor Society. First to be courted is President Maya Hollins. Casey Eldred, Allison O'Connor, and Kaylee Smith. Next, we have the German Honor Society. The German Honor Society advisor is Mr. Doug Matson. On behalf of Mr. Matson, Ms. Mary Whitman will now accord the members of the German Honor Society. First to be courted is President Irvin Falmelli. Mary Casio. I'm just being informed that Mary is actually the president. So let's give Mary a round of applause. Logan Ferguson. Zachary Herdrich. Hannah Pajo, Justin Whalen, Christopher White. Mathematics Honor Society. The Mathematics Honor Society advisors are Ms. Lee Dano, Mrs. Deborah Leanderis, and Ms. Lorraine Mascioli. <laughs> Ms. Mascioli will now court members of the Mathematics Honor Society. First to be courted is President Nicholas Nafakos.
Ryan Allen, Carissa Bork, Jake Chaput, Noah D'Arcangelo, Morgan DeRusso, Ryan Doherty, Noah Doloff, Colleen Donnelly, Rose Dedell, Emily Ferrone, William Gannon, Paris Geisler, Emily Hammond, Kevin Healy, Carolyn Johnson, Daniel Jordan, Yannick Kokoris, Rachel Comenda, Benjamin Longchamp, Kelly Lowe's, Juliana Mancinelli, Shane Monahan, Cameron Murphy, Shannon O'Neill, Aliyah Raymond, Shane Roy, Eric Sabrieski, Parker Shafi, Nicholas Skinner, Anna Smith, Kaylee Smith, Amanda Snow, Joy Steenson, Jacob Swanee, okay. Kylie Taylor, and Sun Sun Zen. I'm glad to see our math honor society figured out the space issue on here, the best of everybody. They got that space relation problem solving down. Nice job, guys. Spatial reason. Next up, we got the Rho Kappa National Social Studies Honor Society. The Rho Kappa National Social Studies Honor Society advisor is Mr. Ryan Richmond. Mr. Richmond will now accord the members of the Rho Kappa National Social Studies Honor Society. First to be courted is President Benjamin Longchamp. <laughs> Ryan Allen. Troy Blackadar. Jake Chaput, Noah D'Arcangelo, Ryan Doherty, Noah Doloff, Anna Donnelly, Casey Eldred, Danielle Hammond, Emily Hammond, James King, Kelly Lowe's, Juliana Mancinelli, Brooklyn Marcotte, Nicholas Nafakos, Amy O'Mara, Sarah Pelletier, Kaylee Smith, and Joy Stinson.
Next, we have the Science Honor Society. The Science Honor Society advisor is Mrs. Stephanie Healy. Ms. Healy will now court the members of the Science Honor Society. First to be courted is President Danielle Hammond. Lily Ashford. Troy Blackadar. Carissa Bork. Cameron Collins. Noah Dark Angelo. Morgan DeRusso. <coughs> Noah Doloff. Alexander Don Allen. Colleen Donnelly. Rose Dudow. Emily Ferrone. Paris Geisler. Kevin Healy. Lauren Hershenroder. Maya Hollins. Carolyn Johnson, Daniel Jordan, Yanni Kakoris, Julia Lanto, Kelly Lowe's, Rachel McAbee, Shane Monahan, Cameron Murphy. Nicholas Nafakos, Shannon O'Neill, Joshua Richardson, Victoria Roland, Eric Sarbieski, Nicholas Skinner, Kaylee Smith, Joy Steenson, Kylie Taylor. Oh, what is this shortcut going to the left? <laughs> Rookies over there. Never been to a chords night yet. <laughs> Next, we have the Spanish Honor Society. The Spanish Honor Society advisor is Miss Mary Whitman. Ms. Whitman will now court the members of the Spanish Honor Society. First to be courted is President Hannah Donnelly. <laughs> Lily Ashford. Ashley Sioto, Colleen Donnelly, Emily Farone, William Gannon, Taylor Hogan, Anna Jameson, Yanni Kakoris, Rachel Comenda, Rachel McAbee, Brianna McAuliffe, 
Emma Richardson. Victoria Rolon. Matthew Salois. And Paige Swanson. Next, we have the Triumph Music Honor Society. The Triumph Music Honor Society advisor is Mr. John Manella. Mr. Manella will now court members of the Triumph Music Honor Society. First to be courted is President Amy O'Mara. Julia Br Brutal. Noah Kaza. Alexis Colt. Cameron Collins. Sebastian Constantino. Alexander Donnell, <coughs> Hannah Donnelly, <coughs> Rebecca Fleeter, <coughs> Alexander Gray, <coughs> Nolan Hennessy, <coughs> Zachary Hurtridge, <coughs> Maya Hollins, Brendan Kelly, James King, Allison Laporte, Natalie Livingston, Benjamin Longchamp, Nicholas Nafakos, Amanda Snow, and Joy Steenson. So this concludes our ceremony this evening. I would like to thank you all for coming to support our seniors on their academic and personal successes. Congratulations to you all once more. Seniors, I will see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. in the gym. Thank you for coming. <laughs>